Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video, we are in a dire situation as far as our budget is concerned because we are going to fail the Mars flyby mission. It is up in 182 days and we don't have a window to get to Mars in 182 days. So we have picked up the first spacewalk and first docking missions and we need need to do those. So we've already built Airlock 1 and the Lynx spacecraft. Uh, it is actually a rebuild of the first Lynx spacecraft that we launched. And so it saved us some money. But I'm also building a backup one just in case. But that's got to take 710 days and that's later than uh, this stuff here. So I'm going to rush build it. Uh, I don't know if it even matters. <laughs> I don't think we can rush build fast enough to get it below... 360 days anyway. Um, I'll give it one more rush bill. Uh, yeah. I have to think about how much we're going to lose from the Mars flyby contract. Okay, anyway. Let's get airlock one out and see how that works for us. And then the Lynx spacecraft has to dock to it. Oh, why am I launching this first? Shoot. Hold on. This is the wrong thing to launch first. We were supposed to be launching the airlock. Oh, uh, this is the airlock. We just shouldn't put Valentina in. Gosh darn it. Uh, well, this is off to a wonderful start. Okay, I'm gonna launch in daylight. It's a little bit high off the pad. Alright, thrall up. SAS is on. Ignition. Four engines. And go. We want to make this easy, so we're going straight out from the cape. Alright, this rocket has less lag than I'm used to, so... I needed to turn faster, actually. Okay. Everything proceeding nominally so far. We should try and put this a little bit higher up so that's easier to run. Oh, I was supposed to line... I you know, I forgot something. I was supposed to line up with that Kerbal. Right. So that we could rescue Milden. Ah. Uh, that's fine. We've got a lot of time for that. And separate and ignite... and uh, separate the fairings and ignite the engines and two good engines. Mullen's rescue, we've got 1,571 days. This is actually OP for this payload, but we didn't really have a rocket in the middle. And I think it's better to get the data units on these engines anyway. And of course, having two engines is a good idea. Alright, we would have to send uh, one of these for Milden because Milden wouldn't be able to get in otherwise. Okay, making orbit will allow this to deorbit. Hopefully, our payload can do the rest. So, there it is. Make sure this antenna is out. All right, and why not that antenna too? You're not charging very well. Hmm. I thought we would have enough, but maybe not. Okay. Well, the engines work. It's got a lot of delta V. I don't think it's got enough to change its inclination to Milden's. That's a lot of inclination. Let me just check though. Well, maybe it's not that much. Uh, no, it's more than I thought. Uh, 28 degrees. 3,000-ish. More than that. Okay, anyway. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're not getting the greatest... power here. So we should intercept it sooner rather than later. This does have a hibernate and warp function. Let's see. Okay, it'll recharge when it's in warp. So that's fine. Okay. Good times. Those are those engines are a little bit clipped in there. That was for the docking port clearance. 
Okay, well, uh, while we're here, I think we can start rolling out the crude mission. Reconditioning. Oh, we have to recondition the launch pad before we roll out. I think there was a time when you could re recondition while you were rolling out, but okay. Uh, okay, no, I'm not really into Ignite. I want to get into a nice high orbit. Technically, if there's crew on board, we should turn off Hibernate and Warp. In which case, this does not have enough power. Okay, so that's all done. So we'll have to make note of that for our other links. Uh, back to Space Center for now. Okay, now rolling out. Okay, well now we get to put Val in. Maybe we should have two people. Since Val will be doing us, Oh, or uh, we could have an engineer do the spacewalk. So, or a scientist. Let's have Bob do the spacewalk. Okay, we have no probe control for some reason. Vessel is not controllable. This is the same vessel. Why is it not controllable? Oh, it's electric charge, but it doesn't have any built-in... Oh, did we not have electric charge in the links itself? Did I accidentally remove that? Um, it looks like I accidentally removed the electric charge in the links. That's weird. Okay, uh, let's roll back. Oops, wrong thing. So we should edit the other links as well. I don't know. Uh, seems to be configured differently than I remember it. Also, it's not listing all the stuff here. You see that? We're supposed to have some food, water, and oxygen. That's not much, by the way. It's not listing those here. So that's weird. But we certainly need electric charge. We don't need that much electric charge. Uh, it depends on how long we need to rendezvous, though. I think we should have a generous amount. And for the same reason, let's add more food, water, and oxygen. I don't know where that food, water, and oxygen is getting hidden here. Why does it show the carbon dioxide waste and wastewater, but not the food, water, and oxygen? That's so weird. Let me just make sure how much time we have. Two days. Well, to rendezvous, that shouldn't be a problem. And that's with max crew. We'll be taking two, so... Alright, it's only got to take six minutes to do these edits. Well, now we have comms. We do have the food, water, and oxygen, despite, despite it not being able to show it in there. And... Airlock 1 is our target. Let's get the rendezvous info up. Not my preferred rendezvous window, but we'll work with it for now. We'll have to wait a day. Okay. Here we go for now. Throttle up. SAS on. Ignition. We have six engines. And launch. Wow, why is this all misconfigured? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Can we fix this? We can fix it. We can fix it. Why was it set to those numbers? It should reset between vessels, though. That's very weird. Okay, we had we had a bit of an, an anomaly. Gosh, this series has been a pain. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, normally when you restart a vessel, the surface stuff is supposed to reset to... 90, 90, and 0. I thought. Okay, approaching 4 Gs and getting ready for booster set. Booster set. Oh, they're off cleanly. And we continue. And shutting down two of the engines. 
We don't actually have the nominal situation release of the abort tower configures here. Uh, that doesn't look right. Hold on. Uh... Okay. Bit of a staging issue there. I think we're okay, though. I need to compensate for some of that business. I think uh, we actually released the launch escape system, but didn't fire the launch escape rockets. This is not going to hurt our ability to get to orbit, but it's annoying. That launch escape system sure seems to be stuck on there for something that's separated. Okay, shut down for the deorbit of that booster. A little bit unsafe to rely on it for the crewed mission to deorbit itself and on the engines, but we did test this service module just now with the airlock, so hopefully it's the same. All right, separation, separation. Okay, we're gonna have to sidestep that launch escape system. And ignition. Okay, we wanna keep low for the rendezvous. So, it's gotta be a while anyway. It's on the opposite side of Earth from us. Should have packed enough electric charge. Okay, on this round, we are going to lift our apoapsis to a tangention tangency. Okay, we have that. Okay, and now we are lifting our periapsis for the final rendezvous. We're using the pod's own RCS for some reason. We don't need that. We do need to be able to crossfeed into those RCS ports. Thought we had room for MH and Mon3 here, but it doesn't look like it. So those forward RCS ports, these guys, aren't firing. Also, that's pretty horrible ISP for MH and Mon3, by the way. I guess we're at a very low tech level on that. Okay, well, I guess we'll leave that RCS enabled then. That was only supposed to be for re-entry, though. Okay, we're probably... I was just using RCS to do this node, and we're probably too far away from the node to do it any better. Well, that'll get us within render range anyway. We're taking advantage of our fuel. Okay, killing velocity. No, no, it's going to be nighttime. Uh, let's hurry up. <laughs> uh, you know, kill rotation there. We can have it turn towards us too. Okay, good enough. Let's have that kill rotation. And this side, do negative parallel. And not taking 13 minutes, thank you. Though we hardly have any light left. Okay, close approach, mere millimeters. Slowing down a bit. Gosh darn it, that messed it all up. <laughs> Still probably alright. Not taking any chances though. Okay, they have met up, and oh, we've got other stuff here. And we did complete first docking. Most of the reward was the advance, though. So, okay, now we have to see whether we can transfer somebody in there. So, get this link spacecraft, transfer crew, transfer Bob. Okay, Bob moved. 
Bob should be able to EVA and EVA report. EVA report. Above water. Okay, keep board. Well, how do we already have it? Why can't we store it? No, there's something wrong with storing it in the Lynx spacecraft. Okay, so this is suspicious. I'm going to. I've got to check the configuration files. I'm going to quit the game, check the configurations files on this, and see. I mean, it has a transmit data thing. <laughs> oh, it just says done. Okay, stop transmit. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to get out of the game and check what's going on with this pod. Okay, so I've added the module to the configuration file for the science capacity. But I don't know if it's going to update the craft, so we'll see. Since I only ever used the links in, in uh, sandbox mode before, I didn't realize that that module was missing on it. So these are the kinds of things that I'm testing after all, to make sure all the configurations work out. Now, uh, let's have Bob EVA again. EV report, keep, board. Okay, it says it's added. Okay, so that's fixed now. So there will be an update to crew vessels. So it'll be crew vessels 0 0.2, and that will fix that problem. Uh, we seem to have the ability to transmit, so let's check that transmitting data works. Seems like that worked. So now we just need to land or splash down. So that worked. Anything else? Nope. Okay, make sure to transfer. And now we have a crew report thing too. I guess we should collect some science, huh? No, uh, we could do some more. We could do all the EVA stuff. That was over water. I don't need the rendezvous info anymore. It'd be nice to have MechJeb tell me what biome we're over. Nope, oh, tropics. Nope, oh, mountains. Mountains. Desert. Is there going to be shores somewhere? Shores, uh, can we do it quickly? Okay. Yes, we got shores. Always a tough one. Still tropics here. Most of it will be tropics because of our inclination, so... Uh, I think that's about it. So we are going to transfer Bob back. Make sure we don't leave without Bob. Um, I trying to get click on the pod is a little bit complicated. Links Neo. Okay, it says so. Um, normally I use this here to click on that pod within its aero shell because the aero shell collider is completely surrounding it for obvious reasons for protection so let's see they're both there all right okay well i can't think of any reason not to so undock All right, well, that'll be just floating around for a while. And our natural deorbit point. I mean, I'd like to splash down in daylight though. Maybe we'll uh, wait some orbits for Cape, uh, for the Atlantic Ocean, North Atlantic to be in daylight first. Okay, retrograde. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're pointing at airlock one, but let's pay attention to that. So I'll get the rendezvous information up. Okay. 
And retro burn. Well, that should be good enough. And we are not hitting airlock one. So normal. Okay, getting rid of the service module. And here we go. One other thing I need to fix about the Lynx is the descent mode. It has a descent mode on it, but it's old style. There's now a configurable descent mode that negates the old descent mode. For those who don't know, descent mode is uh, offset to the center of mass so that the pod comes into the atmosphere tilted, which reduces the amount of g-forces and also allows you to control where it's going to end up. And this did have a descent mode module on it, but it's an old one. So it doesn't work anymore with this version. Otherwise it would show up here. So currently we are over in Mexico and our periapsis is rather deep into the Atlantic, so that's not great. But at least it's water. Okay, we just heard the service module explode. Or, we are hearing. Nice. And plasma. For some reason it's very interested in the RCS ports <laughs> that admittedly do stick out. Oh, uh... Bob Kerman lost consciousness. What G-Force did we hit? 7.7? .7? Bob couldn't deal with 7.7 .7 Gs? Man, these scientists, I swear. Well, we're definitely gonna have to get that descent mode fixed, huh? Or we should get more money because Bob Kerman was like a tourist and they like extra G-Forces. Okay, aero cap separation. That worked pretty well. Let's arm these two. Okay, initial parachute deployment. And 4.8 meters per second. Okay, splash down and recover and recover to VAB. We will definitely want to reuse this already reused capsule again. Okay, so yep. So we got some money, we fulfilled the two contracts. We still have to rescue Milden. Uh, and then, as they from the surface of the moon, we should focus on the moon because we need science in order to unlock the better calm dishes. And so everything about the moon is good except for this one, which I need to fix because 4,000 units of liquid fuel is not useful. So I'll have to take a look at that. And those That pricing isn't even worth my time. Well, there is two signs there. But we have a max of seven contracts, so we better watch it. There's a lot of rescuing going on here. Uh, can they give me another... Well, there's, uh, that's a crude lunar landing. I just want to do a regular lunar... I should have picked up this successful re-entry thing. But it's uncrewed, though. Maybe we can do a sample return mission from the moon? We'll have to do it at a pretty low price, but that'll fulfill this contract anyway. We're not going to get another probe lunar contract are we i would like one <laughs> um it would be nice first space station why what why haven't we met research short-term habitation okay well i guess we haven't done that and advanced flight control well it says any for those so the only i wonder why it has it doubled here so we really need short-term habitation so that we can get this first space station 
which one of those little pods can basically, well, I think may fulfill. Uh, two years, the fact that the, the crude lunar landing contract only gives us two years is rough. We can't even build the darn thing in two years. Lunar flyby in two years. Well, we'll have to see. I'll, I'll try and cook up a vessel and see how long it takes to build and how, how much cost it is. But we have to remember that the Mars flyby mission is going to fail in 153 days. So we're not going to have a whole lot of money. That's why I'm looking at probe con uh, contracts, because those will be cheaper to do. But maybe what we really need to do is these satellite contracts. Um, this one is nice. Position a satellite in a specific orbit of the moon. And then there's this one. These are worthwhile. They give a long time frame, too. I wonder why all the crew stuff has to be so quick. All right. We will pick up that moon contract, that moon contract, and this, uh, we'll wait on this until I build, uh, at least mock it up in the BAB to see. This equatorial one doesn't seem to pay enough. There's these station, build a new orbital, so there's this orbital station contract, but we'll need to support five Kerbals. Right now our link spot only supports three. We could put two of them together, I suppose. We aren't really generating enough power. We need better solar panels. Build a new oral station in solar orbit. Well, at least they pay a lot for that, but I wish the liquid fuel thing was gone. I'll have to take a look at where that contract is to see if I can get rid of that. At least it isn't all tourism contracts now. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not paying us enough to have a facility that supports five Kerbals. That's not enough money to build that. So, might need to fix that too. Okay, but uh, yeah. Satellite in orbit of the moon. Two of them, these aren't really compatible orbits, I don't think. So, it's tough to get from one to the other. So, we'll send two things to the moon in order to fulfill those two. And then maybe a sample return mission. And then a crewed lunar flyby if we can get it built in time. Okay, but right now we're at our limit for contracts. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.